If you want to learn about how to improve the responsiveness of your open source projects, this presentation and practitioner guide is for you. If you haven't already watched the first presentation in the series, I recommend that you pause now and watch the video for part one, the practitioner guide introduction. If you're actively using an open source project, it's likely that you'll find, find bugs or want to contribute fixes back upstream. So for projects you're using, you'll want to make sure that maintainers and other contributors typically respond in a timely fashion. Seeing large numbers of open issues and change requests like pull requests on GitHub or merge requests in GitLab, this is a red flag for me because it can indicate that they either don't have enough contributors to handle the incoming contributions, or even worse, that they don't actually care about or want contributions from others, which unfortunately is something you do see in some company-owned open source projects. It's important for projects to respond to contributions in a timely manner, because a quick response can help you retain contributors who otherwise might become discouraged if they don't receive a timely response. Timely, thoughtful, and kind responses to contributors indicate that you appreciate their work, it's also important to keep up with change requests like pull requests or merge requests and resolve them in a timely manner, even if the response is closing requests that just aren't going to be merged. Not addressing these contributions promptly creates technical debt and reduces the chances that they'll ever be merged because older change requests are likely to have too many merge conflicts to accept. The Responsiveness Practitioner Guide has a bunch of details about ways to improve responsiveness for the projects that you care about, so I encourage you to read the full guide after watching this video. I hope this helps you use metrics to improve the responsiveness of your open source projects, and I hope you also enjoy the other videos in this Practitioner Guide series. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you around the Chaos community.